We're interested in how collective behavior has been a fundamental process in the origins of multicellularity. You know, why do cells come together to form more complex organizations? We're also interested in how social insects, like ants, uh, how they coordinate their behavior, how this little society can function so effectively and can survive in very inhospitable conditions. We're also working on more advanced organizations, like baboons, where we're tracking um, all of the individuals within groups using very high resolution GPS to try to understand how they're interacting with each other. Every two seconds, we can get their locations over the period of a month, you know, allowing really unprecedented insights into these types of social organizations by utilizing novel technologies. When I was a kid, I thought we would, un you know, someone would understand why birds flock and how birds flock, or you know, how fish school. And what really has amazed me is how little we understand about collective organization. Uh, we, as a society, have spent a lot of time studying the science of individuals, um, but it's only now that we're beginning to put these individuals together to try to understand the science of the collective.